Someone told me a story that if you give a monkey bananas and money, most likely the monkey will take the bananas and leave the money, not knowing that money can buy you an extra supply of bananas. But once you eat that banana, that's the end of it. I guess the principle behind that storyline is that in life you've got to know that instant gratification is not the best options this you can apply to any area whether relationships whether finance or business or economics the value of anything is not in its instant consumption or anything that you consume instantly loses its value but it's when you take an extra step to preserve and to invest and to increase something that its value increases and so when you get money unlike getting bananas you can go and buy more bananas and invest them or use them or sell to others and make more money so money is a better currency than a banana and i know this might be comparing apples and oranges but the principle is what i want you to catch that instead of instead of instant gratification you could decide to say no i would rather prefer i delay my instant gratification so that tomorrow i am happier and statistics from marriage actually show that people who begin becoming intimate in their relationship before they get married are most likely to end up divorcing or to be unfaithful later on in marriage because if you could be intimate before the commitment or the covenant what guarantee does your spouse have that you're going to stay faithful after the covenant so that opens up many doors for infidelity and why do you think that your spouse is going to respect you in marriage when actually before marriage you were willing to give away the milk as they say why buy the cow when i can get the milk the principle goes my friend that when when you're faced with a situation where it's either you get instant gratification eat those bananas like the monkey you are better off taking the other option of delayed gratification hold on to the currency all right you can use it later when it has gained value and to buy even more of what was offered earlier on and many relationships fail because people go for instant gratification they end up taking and taking and never putting back because putting back often means investing more and more to create value because value in a relationship does not just wake up and there's value value comes when we be decide to plow back and to be patient to wait for the time of the harvest to come so i'm giving you a principle here that you can apply in any field particularly in your relationships invest in the other person not so much that you can harvest now invest in them in the person and in the relationship the time you spend together is a currency that you can then use to buy many things in your relationship the kindness you show now will come back to you pressed down shaken together and running over all right the care you put into helping someone now without asking for any payback will tomorrow come back and be shaken down and and increase them bigger and more valuable blessings so learn in this life never to always be selfish and gratify yourself with that banana learn to get the currency of the money and use that to invest in other people and gain the value later on in life blessed is the hand that gives and the hand that receives there's actually medical science in that when you do something good and you give to somebody else you actually excrete feel good hormones in your system and you feel good about yourself and you feel good 
that you could make a difference in the life of someone else. And that by itself, it's healing, it's therapeutic, it really even changes the way you think about life and how you relate to people. So pick the money, not the banana. God bless.